What's up guys? I'm Joe Schultz. So the first day after we landed, we got our test done. So I got a blood test and EKG to make sure that everything was okay and that they could properly operate on me. Um, I got to the hotel, they helped me check in. <laughs> Here's your passport. Thank you. This is the room number at the third floor, and this is the code for the Wi-Fi. Okay, it's thank you so much. Uh, they, they show me around. There's a whole spa literally at the bottom of the hotel. It's insane. And the second day, once those tests came back and everything was good, we had the actual procedure, so at first they took me here to the headquarters, I think. Hi, I'm here in Istanbul with Now Hair Time, and I'm ready for my hair transplant. Let's go. Of Now Hair Time, and they outlined the transplant, how it was gonna look on me. Uh, before we did it, we, we did some touching up. Uh, they wanted to make sure that I was okay with the final look, then they cut my hair. Thankfully, they didn't buzz me. I, I was able to keep some hair before the transplant because uh, I'm just getting my hairline worked on and I'm not, not the whole head of hair. So th we did that. And then onto the surgery, which was around like five, six hours. But it, it felt pretty quick, to be honest. Um, yeah, was, besides the anesthetics, everything else was pain free. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? This is my first day post-surgery. Last night, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like, I mean, it's surgery. What do you expect? But I did have trouble falling asleep. Apparently, you're supposed to wrap uh, some cloth around here and I forgot to. So I, I tried, I was pacing around. I tried sleeping on that chair that the camera guy's sitting on right now. I tried sleeping on here. You have to sleep in a 45 degree angle your first night. Uh, I think for actually three nights because it's good for um, your circulation or something but uh yeah so it, it was cool i you know the it's they gave me painkillers they gave me medication that helped a lot with the pain i i feel a little bit of pressure on my head but for the most part like con considering it's surgery like it's it's pretty pain free it was an awesome experience so today's plan is we're getting medical care at the clinic then we're gonna do some washing uh, they're gonna show me how to wash my my head now that i got this new hair and then we're gonna go get our teeth whitened. It's like an additional bonus to this whole trip. So let's go. And now I'm back here for day two, which is uh, aftercare for the surgery. So they just washed me up. To they told me what it's gonna look like the next 10 days, what to do, what not to do. Perfect, amazing, fantastic. Thank you so much guys for everything. Tomorrow's the last day. I appreciate everything that now hair time has done. Turkey's a beautiful country. I can't wait to visit again someday. For now, have a good evening and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, running on two hours of sleep from last night. We had a little bit of a rough night. Uh, they took off the bandages in the back. So it's basically like an open wound and it hurt quite a bit to sleep on the pillow. It was a lot, of, a lot of pressure on my head. So I was only able to get in like two, three hours of sleep, but that's all right, because today's the last day and then we're, we're going home. I'm gonna miss turkey though. So today the plan is we're gonna go to the clinic. We're gonna get our first wash. And then from there, we're gonna head to the airport and we're gonna go home. Uh, you know, as much as I'm gonna miss this place, I'm, I'm happy to finally be going home too. And I cannot wait to, uh, to take care of my hair at home and see it all grow out.